Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will continue our series with regard to differential calculus. And this time, we will talk about the use of product rule of derivatives. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here the formula for the product rule. Maraming different forms. Gumagamit sila ng u and v. Pero dito, since we're talking about functions, I'll be using the notation of f of x and g of x. So we have here the derivative of a function d over dx times f of x times g of x. Ito yung ating given function. And to get the derivative of the given function f of x and g of x, we have here the formula f of x times the derivative of the second function g prime of x plus g of x times the derivative of the second function f prime of x. I know na uh, following this formula, malito kayo, pero upon using our examples here, medyo maintindihan nyo na or matatutunan nyo na how to use the product rule in getting the derivative of a given function. So we have here, number one, y is equal to 3x squared minus 1 times the quantity of x squared plus 5x plus 2. So sir, ang tanong dito, uh, when are we going to use the product rule in derivatives? In getting the derivatives of a function? Syempre, uh, existing doon yung multiplication. As you can see, we have here two different uh, expressions or functions na kung saan, kung kapansin nyo, we're, uh, we have the grouping symbols na it indicates na we need to multiply them. So, uh, nandun yung mismong multiplication. Meaning, we can use the product rule. So, sir, paano po siya gawin? First, you will assign which one is f of x and g of x. So, dito, usually ating f of x natin. And this is your g of x. Ang next step natin is to get the derivatives of each function. Kasi, ito guys, oh, kailangan natin makuha yung g prime of x saka yung f prime of x. So, yung first function natin is that we have f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 1. And the derivative of this function, yung f prime of x natin, is simply 6x na lang. Okay, sir, paano po nakuha yung 6x? Basic, guys. Uh, using the power rule, uh, itong ating exponent na 2 multiplied by 3, that is 6. And then yung exponent natin, subtract natin ng 1. And magiging 1 lang exponent dito. And for the derivative of the constant, negative 1, that is 0. Next, for the g of x, we have x squared plus 5x plus 2. Your g prime of x is simply 2x plus 5. Ayan na mismo yung kanyang derivative. Sir, paano po rin nakuha yan? Your exponent here is 2. Times the coefficient 1, it will give you 2. At your exponent natin na 2 minus 1, magiging 1 na lang siya. And for the derivative of 5x, meron kang exponent na 1 dito. 5, 1 times 5, which is 5. And then minus 1 yung exponent, magiging 0. So, mawawala na yung, yung variable. And as for the derivative of the constant, that is again, Zero. So right now, kompleto na yung yung mga kailangan in using this formula. So paano ba natin gagawin yan? To get the derivative of this one, you have, look at this one eh. y prime is equal to f of x times g prime of x plus, tandaan plus yan eh, parang sa logarithmic number guys. Since product to, uh, uh, product rule to, nagamit tayo ng addition. So we have here, next g of x times f prime of x and then we will substitute each each value so we have here y prime is equal to your f of x quantity of 3x squared minus 1 times your g prime of x which is 2x plus 5 and as for this plus your g of x is, is 1 x squared plus 5x, 5x plus 2 times your f prime of x, which is 
6x. Ngayon, uh, more on multiplication tayo ngayon dito. So dito, gagamit tayo ng FOIL method. Adjust na natin ng konti. We have y prime is equal to, eto muna tayo. So this is 6x cubed. Next, this is plus 15x squared. Ito naman, negative 1 times 2x. That is negative 2x. Ito naman, negative times 5. We have negative 5. And for this, ano naman, gamit tayo ng distributive property. Ito, 6x times x squared. That is plus 6x cubed. Okay? Nakuha ba? Ito naman, 6x times 5x, that is plus 30x squared. Lastly, we have 6x times 2, we have plus 12x. And combine like terms, guys. Combine like terms. We can combine this and this. So we have y prime is equal to 12x cubed. And for this and this, this is plus 45x squared. For the linear term, we have negative 2x and then positive 12x, that is plus 10x. And for the constant, we have minus 5. This is now the derivative of the first given function using the product rule. So, medyo ang dami nyo kailangan i-apply dito. Kaya dapat, before kayo mag-take ng calculus, you are aware of multiplying polynomials and loss of exponents. Next, we have number 2. For number 2, we are given y is equal to the quantity of 4x squared plus 5 times 3x minus 5. Now, sir, paano po gagawin dyan? Siyempre, you need to assign this as your f of x and this is your g of x. Get the derivative of each function. You have f of x is equal to 4x squared plus 5 wherein your f prime of x is 8x. Ganun lang siya. As for the g of x, we have 3x minus 5. Ang g prime of x natin is simply 3. So, um, another thing pala guys, kailangan pagagamit kayo ng product rule, sana quotient rule, sana ano, master nyo na yung pagkuha ng simpleng derivative ng constant at yung paggamit ng power rule. So, we already have the f prime of x tapos g of x. Let us proceed with this formula. y prime is equal to f of x. Tandaan na ito, practice nyo ito, times g of x plus g of x times f prime of x. Substitute each for each value. We have y prime. Laging itong isulat, guys. Hindi pwedeng wala yan. Um, uh, usual kasi nangyayari, lagi tayong walang left side. Eh. Pero huwag nyo i-practice yun. I-practice nyo dapat lagi kayo merong uh, laging complete yung equation nyo. So, f of x is equal to 4x squared plus 5. Okay? And then yung g of prime of x natin is 3. Plus your g of x which is 3x minus 5. Laging in close sa parenthesis. Tapos yung inyong f prime of x is 8x. Now, dito since may well tayong mga monomial, all we need to do is to use distributive property. Copy y prime is equal to 3 times 4x squared, that is 12x squared, 5 times 3, or 3 times 5, that is plus 15, and then plus, ito naman, 8x times 3x, that is 24x squared, then 8x times negative 5, that is negative 40x. And last thing you need to do to finalize your answer, combine like terms. Itong dalawang to, you can combine them, and their total is y prime is equal to 36x squared. And for this, wala tayo nito. So, wala siya ibang sama, minus 40x, copy na lang. And then plus your constant 15. 
And this is now the derivative of the second given function using the product rule. So, you know, guys, I hope na you learned something from this video on how to use the product rule in getting derivatives. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye. See you sa ating next video.